Father, we want to thank you and bless your name for yet another Sunday in your presence. Thank you for uh, an opportunity to be able to break you, the bread of life. You are indeed the bread of life. You are the word of God. Thank you because we desire this. We're looking forward towards this, which is a sign that we are alive, which is a sign that we are born again. As newborn babes, babes desire desire mm, the sincere milk of the word of God. Lord, we thank you. Our lives will be changed. We'll never remain the same again. This second Sunday of October, especially as we prepare now for mega, mega exploit. Lord, October 17, October 18, October 19, October 20th, Jerry Mega Exploit, 93 Ren Branch theme, Jesus Christ. Be glorified. Be glorified. Jesus, Savior, save us. Christ, the anointed one, anoint us so that we can do mega exploits in our world. Lord, we bless your name. We appreciate you. For the things you've done, you're doing, you will do. Hallowed be your name in Jesus' name. Amen. Glory to God. You're welcome to our personal church of God's room assembly. I want to bless the name of God. Let's go straight to the word. First John chapter 2, last week we stopped on if so be, verse 3, if so, if so be ye that, if so be ye have tasted, excuse me, that the Lord is gracious. I'm reading from King James Version. The Lord is gracious. Isn't he gracious? <laughs> he supplied grace. He supplied grace. Now, verse 4, let's read. To whom coming as unto a living stone, Jesus came like a living stone. I, I tell you something, a stone that crushed Goliath, a stone, I'll tell you, that is the chief cornerstone. We're going to read it here. You know, that David spoke about, he said, this stone is Jesus. They disallow him. They don't want him, but as many as receive, you know, he gave them power to become the sons of God. Psalms 118, the stone which the builders refused has become the chief cornerstone. This is the doing of the Lord. It is marvelous in our sight. Listen to me. In my life, my family, your life, God will do something marvelous so that everybody can say only God. There are things in our life that, you know, only God can do. Only God. If I don't let me say there are things, everything in our lives. Only God can move the man to really help you. And in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Ah, we shall see it. Yes. Disallowed indeed of men. So don't ever make a mistake that you will not be disallowed, even if you're a chief cornerstone. But chosen of God and precious. Chosen. He's talking about Jesus. That's what the 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 the, 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 the that's the the what the babes, that's what they desire. They desire what is chosen of God. Yes, disallowed of me. Don't ever think that you'll be allowed by everybody. No, no. But when you're chosen of God, you know, you become a living stone. That was why Jesus said, if you stop praising me, I'll cause living stones to rise and praise me. These are not dead stones. These are not literal stones. This is not... Uh, turn this stone to bread. I'm talking about you and I were a living stone unto God. Aut originally born again is authentic. So the stone is alive. Yes. In verse 5, ye also as lively stones, so we are a stone company. See yourself the way God sees you. You are a stone company. You are not a dead stone. You are not a stone going through weathering, washed off. You're a living stone. No Goliath can stand you. You know, Daniel was telling the king the interpretation of his dream. 
That dream where Nebuchadnezzar saw the image of this 666, you know, man and head of gold and arms of silver and all that, you know, ruling and reigning and want to take dominion. Ah, he said, I'll tell you, in the last days, the Lord shall smite that stone. The stone hit the head, you know, and he broke it into irreparable pieces. And after the stone smashed it, of course, we saw the wind. The wind just blew and like powder, he blew over that image and there's no place for it no more. And that tiny stone now begin to grow, grow, grow and fill the whole earth. What do you think? As Isaiah chapter 27, of course, verse 6, he said, Israel shall be fruitful and fill the face of the whole earth with fruit. That's talking about our church. That's talking about the body of Christ. That's talking about you and I to fill the face of the whole earth with fruit. Of course, that's talking about thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hey, listen, I hope I'm not taking it too high for you. I'm not, I'm not taking it too high for you. I mean, that's just what it is. You're a stone company. Just believe that. You're a lively stone. You're a lively stone. So what Goliath can stand you? What problem can stand you? What generational problem can stand you? Look at all the problems facing your family, your entire generation. A lively stone is born. Glory to God. <laughs> a lively stone. Oh, a lively stone. A lively stone. Solution to your family problem is here. And what's that solution? You. Christ in you. That's you. A lively stone. Yes. No more sickness. No more delay. No more depression. You know, after you, there nobody will ever suffer what you suffered again. Not your children. Not your generation. No, 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 no. They won't suffer that shame. They are not going to suffer that pain, that emotional crisis. You are the one that God has raised up to smash what has messed up with your maybe parent, I don't know, grandparent, you know, great-grandparent. And when they birth you, they just, I mean, look at it, the household of Jesse. They can never suffer again. All the boys, all the niece and nephews of, of uh, David, everybody came to begin to work for David. People like uh, uh, Zeruiah's boys, you know, Abner and all of that, I'm sorry. Uh, those three boys, those three boys, I forgot their name right now. Joab, yeah, Ashahil, yeah, Amasa, you know, all of them, they came to, David was just, I mean, when David became king, do you think those guys would be slaves? They're not going to be slaves. <laughs> As what God has done for you in the body of Christ, it makes you a lively stone so that, i tell you something, maybe when you talk about crusade, when you talk about building, you know, cathedrals and buildings, and awareness and doing all kinds of things. You'll be the one that God wants to use. A lively stone, not a dead stone. All the stones you see around us are dead. They can't move. They can't talk. You see, ye also see yourself as a stone company. If Jesus is a stone, as you are a stone, and if you're a stone, you'll be rejected initially. That's a sign. <laughs> if you want to be accepted, oh, sorry. Sorry, newborn babe. <laughs> sorry. They will reject you. They might not even follow you. They might even look at you and say, what is, which one is this one saying? It's just about what is too dry. It's boring. Yeah, you'll be rejected initially. But hear me, the stone which the builders refused. You'll be rejected. You can't be rejected by men. Nobody wants to marry you. I'm rejected by women. Any woman you turn to, they always say no to you. Because, I don't know, your faith, you stand for God, you stand for righteousness, but stick close to God. You will be acceptable. Somebody will regret and say, I would have said yes. I would have really not wasted time. Oh my God, I messed up. Oh my God, ah, that's going to be your story in Jesus' name. That's going to be your story. Look at the example of our brother, Joseph. His brothers don't want him. Get away. Get away. Die. We'll see what will become your dream. Now, later on, they are begging him. They are begging him because he's now a treasure in Egypt. <laughs> he was a treasure. Pharaoh cannot play with him. The guy only left Pharaoh when he wants to go and bury his, his father. Pharaoh said, I can't let you go anywhere because you are not returned. <laughs> You're so precious to us. In Egypt. I can imagine all the meetings the 10 brothers are always having. I know it will exclude Benjamin. Like, oh my God, why did we do what we do? 
Why did we leave that church? Why did we stop praying? Why did we stop serving? We could have stayed, but they, you know, people are proud. They want to come out and apologize. Hmm? <laughs> a stone. I can imagine Opa when he was when he saw the wedding of Ruth online. Ah! I think I messed up. I really messed up. Hey, guys, do you know that Ruth is married? Oh, my goodness, we were both widows. Ah, and I know that Opa will have been through, you know, healthy and water, you know, been to so many clubs, you know, received so many men. Now, I got now, I don't know, maybe like a jugger or whatever, you know, like a jackal. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, you know, it looks like that. But then... You know, I mean, you just saw this thing on Instagram. You say, my goodness, do you know that Ruth is married? You know, you refused Naomi that time. It was a stone that was disallowed. But now see what Naomi has done to. That's what I want you to know. If you are a living stone, you will initially, by some, be disallowed. Jesus was disallowed. That's why this is a perfection book. It's easy to understand what is going on when you stop talking, stop ascribing everything to demons, demons, devils, devils. Yeah, devils have their place, but don't forget you are the light of the world. You know, they can't make any scream when you're there. He said, now, ye also, verse 5, as lively stones are built up, so we got to be built. Again, we need to go to the word. Don't forget what Acts chapter 20, verse 32 says. You know, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among them that are sanctified. Sanctification, very important. The word is a builder. La devre dosa kapaladis. The prayer in the spirit is a builder. Praying always, he said, praying also in the Holy Ghost, building up your faith on your most holy faith. Praying in the Holy Ghost, Jude 20. Hey, where did you put all that? Where did you put all that? You call him C. La Dozi Gadalama and Baduli Gaduza Talaba. He that prayed in an unknown tongue edified himself. <laughs> Anabolism building. Catabolism breaking down. Ay, 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 ay. Build up what is unseen. Mm. Your spirit man that you can't see, but is the one that controls your destiny. Build it up. It's the one that controls your life. Build it up. Edrezota. Build it up with the world. The spiritual house. You need to have a place to dwell. Don't be, don't be naked. Don't be like, you know, all these uh, homeless people. Your spirit is roaming around the whole place. You're sleeping. Your spirit is roaming around the whole place. It doesn't have a place to stay. I mean, some people believe in ghosts. That's demonism. They say ghosts is running around the place. I mean, it's just like your spirit don't have a house. There's no house for your spirit. So you're just, you know, like that songs of Solomon girl, Shulamite. Everybody, watchman, we see you on the street. They begin to molest you. They rape you. They do all kinds. I'm not talking about girls. I'm talking about Christians. Yes. He said, they saw me. They molest me. They rape me. You're wasted. You see how they are raping you through nightmares. See how they are raping you through fear, intimidation. Now you are even keeping it to yourself. You can't tell anybody because you are too ashamed and you are too proud. You know, you're too proud. Now you're keeping it to yourself. Hey, listen, listen. I, I remember those days and uh, I say thank God for those days. I just be in the living room like this or maybe in one of my um, all the way dining table area. I call people and we just, we just discussing the word of God. We start from John. I was about uh, maybe, I can't remember really, maybe I was 17 or 16. No, I think I was 16, getting ready to go to college or something. I will just call people, we'll be hearing the word like this, and the word is blessing. Those children will be there one hour, and we're going to praise God. If you can be hearing this word and you have a ready mind to do it, you're not going to be roaming around. You're not going to be like destitute. You're not going to be a vagabond. Cain was a vagabond. When your spirit is moving everywhere, your physical body is in the room, but your spirit travels everywhere. 
I had a dream. It was a dream. I was in Cameroon. I was in uh, Liberia. I saw this demon. He was hanging on me. Now animal shows. When the animal shows, ah, you have to know about that. The time that you are spending to be depressed and be thinking negative, why can't you play this message? I pass on nature. Episode eleven, First Peter, chapter two, verse five. Is there anything wrong in that? No, something is wrong with it. I need to see the man of God. I want to see the man of God. Oh, man of God, don't let them waste your life. Refer them to HC. These guys don't want to do no work, man. God calls you a lively stone. You want to make yourself a dead stone. Come on, stop it. He also has lively stone. I built up. Let's build up ourselves. A spiritual house. In a house for your spouse, for your husband, for your wife, for your children. You want their spirit to be roaming around? Everybody's going to be sleeping be between 10 p.m. and whatever time you wake up. Do you know what's going on at that time? You have a physical house for them. You don't have a spiritual house. Our body is the temple of the living God. We need to build a spiritual house. We have to be spiritual. You are spending so much money to get into your apartment, to get into your house, to build, to buy. Oh, you know, have you heard that she's bought a house? Oh my God, she bought a house. Have you bought that he has a house? You know, do you hear that he has a second house and then jealousy, then your passion in life? When are we going to do our own too? Hey. And your spiritual house is not built. Spiritual house regarding prayer, fasting, love, joy, sowing, future, nothing. Spiritual, when you begin to desire the word of God, you become more spiritual. So your passion would be to build a spiritual house, number one. Then you become an holy priesthood. You know, not all this unholy priesthood. So God is raising a priesthood, a people that will serve God. Listen to me. you connected to GRA, period. Listen. If you're connected to God's Roman Assembly of Personal Church, you are called. Now, whether you're chosen, is up to you. You are called. You are called. <laughs> we got to start a lot of churches in thousands. You're going to be the pastor of that church. Oh, I'm telling you. Holy priesthood, not priesthood. The more holy you are, the more you need to quickly get, get out of what you're doing and go and fulfill your calling. You know why God will spank you <laughs> when you see him? Because you heard this message and you do nothing with it. You think you're going to be sitting down in the church for the rest of your life? No way. You are a holy priesthood to give way for others, to pray for other people too. Hey, <laughs> holy priesthood. Holy priesthood. To offer up spiritual sacrifice. You see, everything about your life is now spiritual. So you get more spiritual. Spiritual house, holy priesthood, spiritual sacrifices. So when you lift your hands to begin to worship God, to praise him, to love him, when you leave what you are doing to serve God, that is your spiritual sacrifice. When you give off your talent, of your money, when you're waiting upon God, when you're doing everything, when you travel for missions, when you mobilize, when you give, when you do all those things, that's your spiritual sacrifice. When you, you know, I will have spent my time for vacation, but I'm spending this time to, that's your spiritual sacrifice. Number one is spiritual. It cannot be seen physically. Number two is a sacrifice. It's something you have to leave. You feel the pain. You have the scar. Sacrifice. Sacrifice. Offer your body as a living sacrifice. Holy and acceptable unto God. And be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Don't be conformed to this world. Ah. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Romans chapter 12, verses 1 and 2. The law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. Ah, yeah, yeah. It's beautiful. Isn't it beautiful? Beautiful. Acceptable to God by Jesus Christ. So all these things, God will like it. You cannot be like Cain. God will accept you. 
everything you're giving him. You know, um, so you and your family, you know, this is what we're going to be doing every month. This is where we're going to be. This is what we're going to sacrifice for God. That's the way to do it. That's the way to do it. We're, we're at a meeting. Uh, yeah, sometime. And I don't want to say yesterday because sometime. And hey, I didn't tell anybody. Everybody has their plans for the following day for that. They say, hey, listen, <laughs> we are sleeping in church. We're going to sleep because we have a meeting early in the morning. Why do we go home? So, and we don't. <laughs> everybody just put their head on the seat. That's the way to do it. It's a spiritual sacrifice. Yeah. Sometime, hey, guys, <laughs> no clothing. So no clothes, no nothing. All the money, you give it to, to missions. Everybody say, yes. That is what they call spiritual sacrifice. And what is that to God? God says, it's acceptable. I love it. I love that one. But I've not built a house. Oh, what about the spiritual house you built? That's, do you know how big your mansion is in heaven? I'm not talking about this physical mansion thing because a lot of people, th I mean, I mean, I got, I, got, I got the understanding and it's fine that, you know, God has gone to build a mansion for us like, you know, you know, he's looking for a land in heaven and then he's doing foundation and all that. I mean, okay, that's fine. You know, but I believe really, you know, there's much more understanding to that. Like Jesus is our mansion. Jesus has given us a place in God. You know, there are spiritual things. These are spiritual things. It's a spiritual thing, spiritual house. Have you ever seen spiritual bread before? Did you eat spiritual bread? You know, did you wear spiritual shoes? These are in the realm of the spirit. You know, when Jesus said he's going to build a mansion for us, he was going to the cross. It's on the cross that he will die so that he can bring us inside the Father. You know, so that, you know, in my father's house, you can stay there and live there. Of course, you know, we won't be surprised if we get to heaven. And then, you know, we all have mansions and all that kind of thing. That's beautiful, you know. I mean, that's beautiful. I don't just want kind of separation. You know, I don't want separation because, I mean, you know, you know, I don't want you to be living in Holiness Avenue. And somebody is, your, your spouse is now living in Grace Avenue. And Grace Avenue is going to be almost about three miles. Ah, <laughs> how are we going to get there? And then if it's a mansion, there's a problem. Also, there's a problem. If it's a mansion, are you not going to be lonely? I mean, I'm just thinking about it. Because if it's a mansion, and you're in a big mansion, and there was, I mean, yeah, who are you going to be talking to? You know, well, <laughs> don't let's just dive. I believe in the mansion. I believe in mansion. I believe in all that. What I'm saying is that spiritual focus, acceptable to God. Father, we thank you. Your word is so sweet. Ah! Most times when I encounter your word, I feel so, let me use the word, happy. I know joyful, but I feel so happy on my inside. I'm just, I will just be shaking. Yes. It's like as one that has found great spoil, the rejoicing of my heart. Like the way I'm rejoicing now for this light of your word. That I'm not a loser, that what I'm doing, I'm not just doing it. That you're going to bring this back to my remembrance, oh God. If you're not saved, you don't even have a spiritual house. You're not a lively stone. It's an opportunity. Say this prayer. It doesn't matter. You are not in church. You're in your room. You're in your bathroom. You're, in a, you're driving. Say it. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, whatever I've built at the expense of becoming a living stone, or spiritual house that is not of God, that's not acceptable, Lord, I give it up. Today, Jesus, be my Lord, be my foundation. Make me a lively stone. I don't want to be a dead stone. Don't let me lose my eternity with you. I thank you for your peace and joy. I thank you because I'm acceptable to God. In Jesus' name, amen. For the rest of us, Let's pray that our spiritual house will not be deformed. Our spiritual house will not be rejected because it has to be approved. You know, they have to approve it and say, hey, listen, you built according to the pattern, according to the architectural pattern. Lord, we thank you. Please help us. 
Let our life be acceptable. Let our praise be acceptable. Let our worship be acceptable. Let everything we do that be acceptable unto you. Only an acceptable which there is never seen. Spiritual sacrifice. Father, we bless you. May this word be acceptable. We praise your name. You're worthy. You're faithful. You're excellent. You're kind. Thank you. Don't let our family be divided. Don't let's be looking for each other in heaven. All of us shall be there, reigning with you. And our spiritual house shall be so beautiful, so wonderful. Lord God Almighty, we thank you for becoming a lively stone. The Goliaths are slain. Goliath problem, big problem, big, big, big. Oh, the bigger they are, the greater they fall. So we throw that lively stone to every Goliath of sin, of sickness, of disease, of sorrow, of pain, of fear, of shame, of depression, through our words. Now, in the name of Jesus, we shout hallelujah to that wall. Hallelujah! To every wall of Jericho. Come down. Now. Now. The shout of the king is in the house. We bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, miracle signs and wonders are yours. Powerful testimony, salvation is yours. You see the number there? It's for your testimony. It's coming. You're listening to this? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm telling you, man. It's a pure, sincere milk. The milk is pure. It's not refrigerated. <laughs> it's, a, it's coming from the breast, straight shot from heaven. Hey, as newborn babes desire. Now, I can imagine the Holy Spirit that was upon Peter when Peter was writing this down. Oh, Jesus Christ. What a revelation. He was writing it down. He was writing it down. Maybe it was Mark, John Mark, that was helping him. And he was saying, he was saying this to the Christians. And he's saying the same thing to you. And your life will never remain the same again. Hey, I can't wait to jump back in um, next week. And we're going to have a good, great time by the mercy and the grace of God. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.